What is up everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at a hood strut kit that Spiker Engineering has sent us to review. So let's not hold it off any longer and jump straight to it. These hood struts are made here in the US, so you can expect that OEM like quality. They have more than enough pressure to open and hold up your hood. The installation manual that comes with this kit is extremely well written, has tons of details, color photos, and guides you through every step of the process. Moving on to the hardware now, you're really not going to need anything outside of what's included in this kit. So you're not going to have to go out and buy any bolts or rivets or anything like that. This kit comes with everything and it comes with one extra rivet just in case you break it during install. A drill bit stopper is also included to make sure you don't drill through your hood. And here are the tools that are required to install the hood struts. We will be installing this kit on a third gen 4Runner. As you can see our hood prop has seen better days, the bushing is all gone now. Moving on with the actual installation, we're going to be installing our ball studs into the following locations. There's a hole on the driver's side here. And that's all pre-threaded so we don't have to thread anything. And there's a hole on the passenger side as well right here. Now we're just going to install the ball stud with the washer's concave side facing away from the ball. Go ahead and tighten it by hand at first and then use a 12 millimeter wrench to tighten it down. While we're on the passenger side we're going to remove the windshield wiper hose clip. That's going to be in the way so just move it out of the way like so. Now you can install the ball stud on the passenger side. Now we're going to go ahead and attach the actual hood struts. Please notice the orientation of the hood strut. The skinnier part is what gets attached to the fender. Now that you have both of them installed, it's time to check for any clearance issues on both sides. If you have anything bolted down on the sides, uh, now would be the time to take care of that. This specific kit was designed to raise the hood about 8 inches higher than the original prop rod. So what you're going to do, you're going to prop it up with a piece of wood or a 2x4 uh, and measure out 8 inches from the bottom of that prop rod to the top of that hole. So that's about 8 inches right there. Next we're going to take some painter's tape and put it approximately where that top bracket is going to go and mark where we want to drill the holes. Make sure you're using the drill stopper before you start drilling into the hood or you're going to go all the way through. After drilling the holes, you want to apply some sort of paint to the exposed metal to prevent rust. Now we're going to take the two rivets, place them through the upper mounting bracket and into the holes we drilled. And then we're going to use the rivet gun to fixate those in place. Now repeat those same steps on the other side and you have your finished product. This kit and much more is available at yodanation.com.